everybody, what is going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome to a new video and uh, obviously this looks a little bit different to the normal gameplay setup because today we're not doing a gameplay. We're going to be looking at something that I received in the post the other day. Now you'll probably recall these bad boys that I got in the post. Uh, these are Clash of Clans figures and uh, they were really cool, really dope and nobody really had ever shown these kind of things off before so I was like, oh, I really want some Clash of Clans merchandise. Uh, so I got, I got the king and the queen and I was stumbling across the internet the other day uh, and I came across this. Now what is this of? I will go into it in more detail, but basically it's a Clash of Clans necklace. And yes, you did hear that right. This is a Clash of Clans necklace with a load of different medallions on it. And to be honest, it looks really cool. So I got this off the internet uh, and I thought, you know what? I'll unbox this for you guys and see what it's like and uh, give you a little review of it. So let's open this up. Uh, it's got really nice packaging actually. It's got Clash of Clans all over the packaging as you can see here with the little cutout and everything uh, and on the back it just has a few photos of Clash of Clans. Pretty useless otherwise though so we'll throw that away. So this is what you get. Oh, this is what you get inside and you can see all the different medallions here in a really nice chromey silver kind of look uh, except for this one actually which is the witch and it has a completely different look to it. So let's go through each one and have a look and see what they are like. So first up is the classic. This is the Barbarian Sword. You can see it here, you can see it's got the little cut in it as well and it looks really cool. It's really shiny. Uh, all of these collect to, connect to a necklace by the way by that little thing on the top, just that little loop. Uh, and this is what this chain is for, but to be honest, this is like a really cheap and crappy chain and I don't recommend it because it will probably mark your skin. Uh, it will probably like come off as well. So get a good chain and you can put these on them and it looks really nice. It's hard to get a, like a good look at it in the video because it's so shiny, but that looks really cool. So next up is order. Oh, this is so, this is even cooler. This is the Hog Rider's Hammer. Yes, you can see it's got the pointy ends to it as well as this kind of um, nailed down clasp as well as the long kind of stick to it. But you can see the stick is actually textured. I don't know if you can see that in the camera that well, uh, but it has got a slight texture to it, a slight grip to it. And it's actually pretty heavy. Like, you know, that dangling down by your neck is going to be pretty heavy. And uh, I don't know if you'd want that one because it's quite it's quite pointy. But uh, the Hog Rider is always going to be one of the favorites in Clash of Clans. Up next, we have the classic. This is the classic Clash of Clans logo. You've got the red logo with the arrows pointing into it. And then you've got kind of embedded here, it says Clash of Clans. You can't really read it, to be totally honest, on the video there. Uh, but you can read it a little bit easier in real life. And that's probably a nicer one to have because it's so light. On the back of it is just a textured metal. Now I'm not sure what these are made out of. And to be honest, I'm not sure how brittle or how good they are. Uh, but I'm never going to wear the one that says Clash of Clans. So let's just see if it can have like a little stress test. So I'm just going to bend it quite lightly and we're going to see what happens. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. These are like proper metal. Yeah, that's that's really good. I actually put quite a bit of force into that and it hasn't bent at all. So that that's a really good sign that these are actually high quality. Up next is the Valkyrie's sword. I don't know what you call it, but it's the Valkyrie's axe that she spins around. This is a really cool looking one because this could be uh, not to do with Clash of Clans to a degree. And it's kind of just a cool looking medallion to have. Uh, you've got the spiky ends as well with a just a normal, very polished handle here and that dangles there as well so they all dangle down like that off your neck uh, and it looks pretty cool I really like that one I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna wear these um, but you never know this is just a arrow that's nice I'd probably if I were to pick one I'd wear that because that's just an arrow and you know people aren't gonna go why have you got and well, or they might say why have you got an arrow uh, you actually get two of them as well just in case one breaks or you lose one uh, and they're pretty cool you can see here they have, uh, let me see if I can focus this on it at all. No, I can't. Uh, they have a kind of feathered look at the end with a nice little point as well. If I put my hand there, there you go. You can see the point a little bit better there. Pretty cool. Nice looking arrows as well. And they're all in this velvety different packaging. So yeah. This here is the Archer Queen. Yes. Oh, that's heavy as well. This is the Archer Queen's bow. Now, if I actually compare this to the bow on my Archer Queen statue, uh, it's very, very similar. It's a little bit smaller than the statue, but it's very, very similar. It has actually all the same detailing, which is pretty good. And I believe this is from the same company. Uh, but yeah, that's quite nice. And it's got a bottom to it where you put the stuff in. 
something. Uh, and yeah, that's just a cool one that I actually really like. That's that's different. So this one is possibly the most different, and I hope it's meant to look like this. Uh, it has a kind of darker textured metal to it. Either it's dirty and it's rusted. No, I think that's how it's meant to look. And this, of course, is what the witch holds. So you can see it there a little bit better. That is what the witch holds, and it's her skeleton staff thing. But the only issue with this is if you were to hang this from your neck, it's really long. I mean, I have big hands, and it's like a finger length. Look at that. It's actually a finger length. So that's, that's, and it has to dangle downwards. So you have like an upside down skeleton, which is going to be a bit weird, but uh, pretty cool. And possibly one of the coolest ones. This is more, to be honest, you're not going to wear these. This is more just for like a collector's kind of thing. Up next is the Pekka's sword. Yes, this is what the Pekka holds. Uh, I believe they hold two of them. And it's kind of different. So it's got like a very sharp end to it. And it's just long and different to this. So this is the Barbarian sword. Uh, here you go. You can compare them nice, quite nicely, actually. Uh, so you can see the different end to it, the different tip. And also the Barbarian sword has those little cuts and indents in them. Pretty cool to have a Pekka sword as well. Um, but again, it's a bit pointy. It's a bit sharp. And if that was dangling down your neck, it might probably, it probably will catch you. And here we go. The final one. Uh, is just the classic archer's bow. So this is the bow for the archers. We also do have an arrow, so they kind of they kind of go well. Oh, oh, I dropped it. They kind of do go well together, but sadly you can't put them together at all. Uh, but you do have the bow and the arrow, and the bow is a little bit different. It's a little bit bigger than the queen's one because the queen has kind of like a crossbow, whereas this is a classic normal bow. So I'm going to put one of these on and we're going to see what it looks like and we're going to see if I look like a complete idiot with it on or if it actually works quite nicely. So since I wear a chain already, I just attached it to my like normal chain and you can see it there. This is the barbarian sword on it and to be honest, it looks quite cool. It looks all right. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's a little bit tacky, but I don't think people would question it because it almost looks kind of like a cross, kind of religious looking, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below for me. Hit that comment section up saying if you would buy, if Clash of Clans did an official kind of one of these, uh, or any of the other ones, would you buy something like that? Favorite the video, share the video, and until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.